Hey there, my name is Jake Panic. I'm one of the admissions coordinators here in the Office of Admissions at Northern Kentucky University. I'm also a 2018 graduate of the university, and I'm currently pursuing my master's degree in communications here at NKU. Thank you for joining us today to learn a little bit more about the university here at Northern Kentucky. Uh, the presentation today will look something like this on your screen. We'll take a look at NKU at a glance. We'll take a look at all of our colleges here at the university. We'll talk a little bit about campus life, our admissions process, and then we'll talk a little bit about the next steps for you as you're starting on your college exploration uh, journey. Starting out, talking about NKU at a glance and NKU as a whole, I like to talk about a few of my favorite facts and stats about the university. NKU has actually been named one of the best colleges by Forbes more than 10 years in a row. We're also only 53 years young. We were founded in 1968. So we're a relatively young university. This allows us to continue to grow and change as we get older. Our student population is only about 16,000 students. So we like to refer to that as the Goldilocks College. We're not too big, we're not too small. We have a nice size right in the middle at about 16,000 students. We also have a student to faculty ratio of 19 to one students. And so what this means is for every 19 students at the university, there's one member of faculty at, at the university. So you're gonna to get to know your professors really well while you're taking your classes here. We also have an average class size of about 24 students. So when you think about your class size at your high school, it's probably something really similar to that. So you're gonna to get to know your classmates really well, especially once you move into your major specific courses, you'll take a lot of the same classes as your colleagues. Starting out on your college search process and figuring out what you wanna do after high school is definitely a difficult process. So luckily at NKU, we have more than 80 different majors across all of our seven colleges here at the university. So there's more than likely something for you here at NKU. NKU is also located only about 10 minutes from downtown Cincinnati, depending on how fast you drive. The actual campus itself is only about 420 acres large, so you can actually get from one end of campus to the other in about 15 minutes. So you're not going to have to worry about rushing in between classes and being late. It's actually very easy to get around here at the university. We also have been ranked the 23rd safest college in America, so you're not going to have to sacrifice your safety for a quality education. So now that we've talked mostly about NKU overall, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into the colleges that we have here at the university. We have seven different academic colleges in the College of Arts and Sciences, the Hale College of Business, the College of Informatics, the College of Education, the College of Health and Human Services, our Chase College of Law, as well as our Honors College. So to dive in a little bit here, we'll talk about the College of Arts and Sciences first is actually the largest college at the university that houses over 100 different academic programs. Anything from biology, psychology, sociology, anthropology, really anything that ends in ology, you'll probably find it in the College of Arts and Sciences. There are a lot of different opportunities for different research opportunities, as well as research in specific fields like biology. It is also home to the largest School of the Arts program in the entire state of Kentucky. So that means we have the most performances as well as art gallery openings in every single, out of every single school here in Kentucky, which is a really great opportunity for our School of the Arts students to showcase their work before they've even graduated. So they're gonna be able to open their art galleries with their photography that they have taken or perform in a performance, whether it's dance or vocal uh, performance. It's, there's a lot of opportunity for our students there. We also have a partnership with the UK College of Medicine, and this is a program that we have for our students that are studying our pre-med program here at the university that are interested in moving on to receive their doctorate degree. What these students can do is they can complete their pre-med here, apply to the University of Kentucky College of Medicine, 
UK holds spots for our students at the university. They can go complete their clinicals as well as their coursework here in the Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati area. And when they're finished with that, they will have a medical degree from the University of Kentucky. So they'll never have to leave the area to get that degree. We also have the Hale College of Business. This is the college that I graduated from back in 2018. This is for any student that might be interested in sports, business, event management, marketing, management, economics, finance, pretty much anything that has to do with business, you'll find it in the College of Business. A really cool opportunity for our students is annual business week. And so what this is, is it's a week during the semester where you don't have to go to class, but what the university does is we bring in different representatives from companies across the area, across the nation, across the world. They come in and give TED Talks, they give classroom presentations, one-on-one -on -one talks to really give our students a good idea of what it might be like after they graduate from NKU with a business degree. There's usually a luncheon involved with that as well, where you can have some lunch with some of these representatives and potentially get your foot in the door and maybe talk about different internship opportunities for you while you're still here at NKU. The College of Business is also home to the NKU Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. This houses programs like the Incubator, Incubiz, as well as ETAP. The Incubator is a program that is similar to the show Shark Tank, if you're familiar. Basically, if you have a business idea that you want to start your business, get it up and running off the ground, you can go to the, the staff and the representatives from the Incubator program, bring your business idea to them, and if they like your business idea, they can actually help you with the starting of your business. They can help you find employees, help you find funding, and get your business up and moving off the ground. Incubiz is a program that taps into the rich student pool talent that we have at the university. It trains them to work on projects uh, for local as well as regional companies. So the companies are specifically looking for work in the area. They can actually work with these companies before they've even graduated. Students who have participated in the Incubus program have 100% job placement. So it's a great, great real world experience opportunity for our students here. ETAP is another program that teaches our students that are interested in becoming entrepreneurs and it teaches them how to run and buy, purchase um, and operate uh, small businesses. There's also been more than 800 different co-op experiences completed through our College of Business. A little thing I like to talk about here is you'll see Isaiah on the right side of your screen there. He's the owner and creator of Smooth Creations and his company actually creates custom tennis shoes. His company has had the opportunity to create tennis shoes for MLB players, NFL players. Um, he's also had the opportunity to create multiple custom tennis shoes for companies that are interested in just buying tennis shoes for their employees to wear. He actually started his business through the incubator program before he even graduated from NKU. He's up and running already. We also have the College of Informatics. And so the College of Informatics is for any student that's interested in data, how we translate it, how we collect it, how we organize it, and how we communicate it with different communities in society itself. So there are a bunch of different programs like communication studies, computer science, data science, journalism, and one of our newest ones, cybersecurity. So anything that has to do with informatics, obviously the College of Informatics is your place. We are also ranked number one in Kentucky for the most computer science degrees awarded to women. We are extremely proud of our women in STEM here at NKU. The College of Informatics is also home to our student-run newspaper, The Northerner. The Northerner is a student-run newspaper, newspaper that all of the articles and everything is edited, written, the photos are taken by our students. So our students actually have the opportunity to complete their work, their hands-on work, and distribute this, this newspaper across the university. We've also been ranked one of the top cybersecurity teams in the nation, and we are actually recognized by the National Security Agency as well as the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. So if you're interested in cybersecurity, we have a fantastic program here at the university for you. We also have our College of Education. 
And so the College of Education is for any student that wants to teach after they have graduated from NKU. You can teach in anything from early childhood all the way up through secondary education, and we also include special education as well. There are a bunch of different student organizations, five to be exact, that you can take part in as an education student. One of the really unique things that NKU has to offer for our education students is that we can offer placement as well as certification in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. So a lot of other schools, you might only be able to be certified and placed in the school in the state that that school is in. But if you attend NKU, we can assist with the process of being certified and placed in the tri-state area. Another really unique opportunity for our education students are their classroom observation opportunities. What these are is these are opportunities for you to go into a local high school, middle school, elementary school, and just observe, sit in for a day and understand what it really is like in the classroom while you're still learning at NKU. It's really important to figure out what it's like in, in those classrooms while you're still learning because say you want to start out in a kindergarten classroom. You go to your first classroom observation, that's a kindergarten classroom at a local, high, uh, local school. You get in there and you determine there's not enough coffee on the planet to keep you awake and fast moving with all these little kids running around. That's okay. You can change and go to secondary education and switch it. Maybe you'll teach high school students it's not gonna set you back at all. You'll have the opportunity to complete your coursework in the same amount of time, even if you change your direction, your major. On the other topic of hands-on experiential learning, our College of Health and Human Services has programs that are perfect for this. These programs include nursing, allied health, social work and kinesiology, counseling and rehabilitative science. So these programs are all housed within our Health Innovation Center, which was opened in 2018, one of the newest buildings on campus. And one of the really, really unique things about the Health Innovation Center are our simulation labs. The Health Innovation Center is home to the Center for Simulation Education, which is actually accredited by the Society for Simulation in Healthcare. And what these simulation center includes are eight inpatient simulation rooms, eight outpatient simulation rooms, a functional living lab, critical care simulation room, as well as an operating simulation room. And what these simulation rooms have are robots, basically, that can recreate anything from a little kid with a cold all the way up to somebody who is fully pregnant and actually give birth to a baby robot. And so with that simulation, you'll get that hands-on experience right away. On top of that, the clinicals for these programs actually start in the student's first semester. So not only do you get the simulation experience, you're also going to get real-world in-hospital experience with your clinicals. NKU actually works with local organizations like St. Elizabeth, Cincinnati Children's Hospital to offer these opportunities for in-person clinicals for our nursing and our other health and human services majors. NKU is also home to the Salmon P. Chase College of Law. This is for any student that is interested in earning their Juris Doctor, their Master of Legal Studies, or their Bachelor's in Law. NKU is actually one of the only universities in the entire United States that offers a law degree fully in person. And it's really important to mention the in-person part because all of our professors at the law school are either currently practicing, have recently retired, or have worked in that field for a very long time. So they know what to expect in the world when you're practicing law. So that translates over to our students really, really well. We also have the 3 plus 3 program. And what this does is this allows our students to earn their undergraduate as well as their graduate degree in law. You can be any major that you'd like in your undergrad program. You could be a business major, and then you could go get your law degree. It doesn't matter what undergrad degree you have, you can still participate in the 3 plus 3 program. And what this does is it allows our students to graduate a year early, and it saves a year of tuition cost, and it's going to get them out there working uh, with their law degree a year earlier than it would if you were to complete your regular bachelor's and then do law school after that. 
NKU also has our own honors college. And our honors college is really unique in that it tacks on to our programs basically like a minor. And so you could be a business major, you can be psychology, you can be any major and also be an honors college student. Our honors college is for our students that are looking for a more in-depth experiential learning. So the experiences in the honors college include things like education abroad, different research projects, workshops, different experiential learning opportunities, and opportunities for peer mentorship. If you are interested in diving deeper into subjects um, that have to do with your major or maybe have nothing to do with your major, the Honors College is going to be the place for you. It's based on experiential learning instead of taking tests and it's really about working with your classmates to dive deeper into a specific subject. The Honors College is also home to The Flame, which is our student produced magazine. So as I mentioned earlier, The Northerner being our student produced um, newspaper, the magazine, The Flame, is pretty similar. All of our students write the articles, take the photographs, and are participating in completing this magazine. So I really dove into the academic side of what NKU is all about. Academics are only part of coming to college. So we're going to dive in and talk a little bit about what campus life has to offer to you as a student at NKU. There are 18 places to eat on campus, so you will not go hungry, we promise you. We've got a Qdoba Mexican Eats that just opened this fall. We've also got a Steak and Shake, Sabaro Pizza, Starbucks, Einstein Bros, Bagels, and one of my personal favorites is our dining halls that are located in our residence villages. You just swipe your ID card, your meal plan card to get into the dining halls, and it's like buffet style. They even have soft serve ice cream that you can eat as much as you'd like. I wouldn't suggest it, but you can do it. Speaking of those residence halls that the dining facilities, are, some of them are located in, we have seven different residence halls with our newest residence hall opening up this fall. A really unique thing about our residence halls is we have different learning, living learning communities. And with these living learning communities, they are places within the residence halls where you can actually share space, um, share floors, share hallways with other students that are in similar programs or majors or organizations that you are. So right there are just a few of the examples of the living learning communities. So basically you're gonna be living with those students that you're going to class with and going to those organization meetings with throughout the year. So you're gonna to get to know your people really, really well, especially if you take part in one of those living learning communities. NKU has a few different opportunities for different residence hall styles. On the top right there, you'll see our traditional residence hall style. This comes with the two beds, the two desks, two dressers, and some space for you there. You'll notice that there is a restroom there. That is because that is shared on the hallway. So these are your traditional styles with the floor shared hallway with multiple other uh, students in their residence halls. On the top left is more of our suite style, our apartment style. So as you can see, there is four different living areas that share one common area and two restrooms. And the bottom left is one of our other suite styles that it shares two to a room with one common living area. And then on the bottom right is our more open concept suite style that you share the residence hall with three other roommates, but you have a very large open shared space in the middle. The rates for our housing residence halls range anywhere from 9,460 to 12,480 a year. And that figure there does include meal plans, just depends on which one you select. The application for housing will open in January of 2022 if you're interested in living on campus, or if you live outside of the 50 mile radius from campus, you are required to live on campus. If you live within that 50 miles, you're not required, but you are more than welcome to. If you'd like to find out more about our housing options, you can visit housing.nku.edu, and there are plenty of informational brochures, anything you can find on there about housing, it'll be on the website. 
NKU is home to more than 23 Greek life organizations, more than 250 student organizations. We also have 17 NCAA Division I sports teams. So the Greek organizations are perfect if you're interested in the Greek life, getting to know your, the classmates on a deeper level. We also have more than 250 student organizations, like I mentioned, anything ranging from hiking club, bass fishing club. One year there was a Chipotle club. So there's a, a bunch of different clubs that range anywhere that you might be interested in. And if there's something that you're not interested in, you're encouraged to create your own student organization. So just get a group of people together and create your own club. Like I said, too, 17 NCAA Division I sports teams, like our men's and women's basketball, volleyball, men's and women's soccer, baseball, softball, and that's just to name a few. As a student at NKU, you actually have access to all of those home games for free. You swipe your student ID and you're in. It's a great time to hang out with your friends and cheer on the Norse. We also have 11 different programs and departments in our Student Success Center. The few that I like to highlight are our Career Services Office. They are specifically here to help you as an NKU student and as an NKU graduate find a job. They can help find different co-op internships, co-op opportunities, and employment after you graduate from the university. They also host a career fair every single year where they bring in hundreds of companies from the area to come and talk to you about different opportunities that they have at their company. We also have Learning Plus and the basics of that, free tutoring, 100% free tutoring. So say you might be falling behind in a subject, maybe just not grasping something as well as you would like to. Go to our Learning Plus Center and set up an appointment. They would be more than happy to help you. The really unique thing about the Learning Plus Center is that the tutors are often students at NKU that have taken the course previously and then have earned an A in that course. So they know what they're talking about. They've been exactly where you are as a student. And if you're looking for a potential job opportunity while you're at NKU, you can become a tutor. It's a great opportunity for our students. We also have Norse Advising. And as I mentioned, way earlier in the presentation that making your college decision, figuring out what you want to do, what you want to major in, is super difficult. And we totally understand that. And that's what Norse Advising is here to help with. They can help you narrow down what it is you might be interested in. They can work with you on what your end goal is, what career you would like to pursue. And they can help build those blocks from here to your end goal career. They can help you with that in between. NKU also has six departments in the Center for Student and Inclusiveness, and these are all programs at the university here to help you find your home at NKU. We're also the number 10 most accessible campus in the entire United States. Whether you're in a wheelchair or you happen to find yourself on crutches for a couple weeks during the semester, you are never going to have to worry about getting to and from classes because it is extremely easy and accessible. NKU also has actually one of the largest campus rec recreation centers in the state of Kentucky. Recently remodeled, our campus recreation center is available to all of our NKU students, and that is included when you come to NKU. You can walk in, swipe your student ID, and you have access to all of the different things that are in the recreation center. There are different classes for you to sign up for, like yoga, stretching classes, exercise classes. You can also take a quick lap in the lap pool at the Campus Rec Center. There's also a giant swimming well. There's a diving well that has a rock wall that it goes up and over. You can climb up the rock wall and jump in. There's also a giant 25 person hot tub. And besides that, we also have different exercise equipment like our free weights. We also have different cardio equipment. We have five basketball courts. We've got indoor racquetball courts, as well as an intramural um, multi-purpose court, all located in the Campus Recreation Center. So it's a great opportunity for our students to get your sweat on, get a workout in, or just hang out and study. Whatever you like to do, the Campus Rec Center is there for you to, to hang out in and do what you'd like. 
As I mentioned earlier in the presentation, NKU is only located about 10 minutes from downtown Cincinnati and obviously located right in the heart of beautiful northern Kentucky. So there's plenty of things to do. So there's we've talked about all of the great things that you have available on campus to do, but let's talk a little bit about what's off campus. What else is to do around the area? Located in downtown Cincinnati, we have three professional sports teams in the Cincinnati Reds, the Cincinnati Bengals, as well as the FC Cincinnati, which is the professional soccer team new to the area. They just completed their stadium on the West End. And an honorable mention that I have to mention is our semi-professional hockey team in the Cincinnati Cyclones. Their season lines pretty perfectly up with your fall semester. So get finished with classes for the day, head downtown and go get some cheap tickets to watch some really good hockey. The really other unique thing about those three professional sports teams is they'll often offer different NKU student nights. So you can actually get cheaper tickets because you're an NKU student. So head downtown with your friends and go catch a quick game of baseball or football, whatever you'd like to do that's available to you. Next up, if you're a foodie like me, there's more than 3,000 different local restaurants in the area. So I did the math on this. You can actually go to one new restaurant every single day you are a student at NKU and still not get to all of them that are available. So lots of different places to eat. Like I said on campus, you're not going to go hungry. You won't go hungry off campus either. So coming to school, you might be balling on a budget. I was there. I know exactly what you're feeling, what you're thinking. You're thinking, I can't spend all that money on, on game tickets. That's all right. We've got plenty of free things to do here in the area. There are more than 70 different parks. You can go hiking, go have a picnic, whatever you'd like. There are a lot of parks to choose from. About 155 different bike trails around the area. Some of them are paved. Some of them are unpaved. Definitely different options. We also have a world-ranked zoo in the Cincinnati Zoo. Go down there, say hi to Fiona. Um, I'm sure she'd appreciate the company. We also have a great aquarium located at Newport on the levee. Go down there, see the sharks, maybe touch some sharks as well. Lots of different opportunities there for our students off of campus. So now you're looking at this thinking, this is great. I love all of this. How do I get there? Well. It's a pretty easy process and I'll tell you a little bit about it. Our admissions process is very simple. You'll apply online at www.nku.edu slash apply. We are also on the Common App. So my suggestion is if you are applying to multiple different schools, it's easier to go with the Common App. But if you're interested in just applying at NKU, if you got your heart set on NKU, just go ahead and apply on the university website. After you've submitted your application, you'll pay the $40 application fee. After that, you'll want to reach out to your high school to make sure that they send us your transcript. And then if you have taken any dual credit courses through another college, you'll want to make sure that they send us your transcript as well. So you can be sure you get the credit for the coursework that you worked hard to earn. And then finally, you'll want to submit any ACT or SAT scores and I'll put a little asterisk by that because officially NKU is a test optional university. So if you have a GPA of 2.75 or higher, you will no longer need to send in any standardized test scores like the ACT or SAT. There are still a few programs at the university that do require standardized test scores for their admissions purposes. And those include nursing, respiratory care, radiation therapy, as well as radiological technology. So if you're interested in those programs, they do still require test scores. We're gonna talk a little bit about money here. So these are our annual tuition rates. As you can see for the in-state residents, the annual tuition rate is about $10,392. The out-of-state tuition rate is $20,448, and then those select Indiana counties are $10,392, the in-state rate. It's not because we like those counties any more than the rest of the counties in Indiana or any other state for that matter. We just have an agreement with the state of Indiana where the state subsidized some of the cost of the out-of-state tuition for those counties because they are the closest 
to, we are the closest four-year institution to those counties in Indiana. So as you're looking at this, for our out-of-state students, that number is a fairly large number. And I totally understand. So one of the great things that we can offer for our out-of-state students is our EDGE Award. So what the EDGE Award is, is this is basically acts as a scholarship. So if you're coming to NKU with a 2.5 GPA or higher, coming to NKU from out of state as a first time full time freshman, you will automatically receive the EDGE Award. And so what the EDGE Award is, it allows you to pay in-state tuition plus about $500. So what that does is it takes that $20,000 um, annual tuition for out-of-state students and actually brings it really close to that in-state rate. So you'll actually be paying only about $10,900 per year as an out-of-state student with that EDGE award. So it's a great, great opportunity to, to make that out-of-state cost just a little bit less. Another important thing to keep in mind as well to, to take care of some of those additional costs of going to school is financial aid, specifically the free financial aid from the, from the United States government, which is supplied by the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. So that application has no cost to you. You fill out that application to be considered for student loans that you'll repay back once you graduate or grants that you don't have to pay back at all. 77% of NKU students receive some sort of financial aid, so there are a lot of great opportunities to subsidize that cost of your college education. The FAFSA opens up on October 1st, and it is first come, first serve. So once you get that application started, submit it as soon as possible so you are considered for the maximum amount of financial aid possible. NKU's FAFSA code can be seen at the bottom of the screen there. No worries if you don't remember it today, it's available on our website as well as the view book that you received in your bag. On top of the financial aid opportunities, NKU off also offers more than $21 million every single year in scholarships for our first in year students as well as our continuing students at the university. We have our merit-based scholarships, which for our Kentucky residents as well as our Indiana specific county residents. We offer different types of merit-based scholarships that look at GPA. So there are different levels of scholarships for different GPA levels. And those can all be found on our website at nku.edu slash scholarships. We also have opportunities for merit-based scholarships for our out-of-state students in our EDGE Award, which I talked about just a little bit ago, as well as the EDGE Plus Award. And so the EDGE Plus is actually a scholarship that if you have a 3.7 GPA or higher, you will add another $1,000 on top of the EDGE Award. So just another great way to subsidize that cost of your education. We have outside of our merit-based scholarships, what we like to call our apply for scholarships. We call them that because outside of those, the merit-based ones, those just automatically are applied to your account based on your GPA. With the apply for scholarships, you fill out an application on our website, and this actually puts you in consideration for a very, very wide range of scholarships for you to take advantage of. So these, some of these include our Educational Diversity Scholarship, our Honors College Scholarship, as well as our Donor Scholarship. The scholarship deadline is February 15th of 2022, and it usually opens somewhere in the middle of October, um, but you will receive an email with that information when the scholarship application does open. A few important dates to keep in mind here, July 1st, has already passed, obviously, but that is when the NKU application opened. We are open on the Common App as well. October 1st is when the FAFSA will open, that free application for federal student aid. First come, first serve. Make sure you get in there as soon as October 1st opens to make sure you get as much financial aid award as possible. January 15th is the honors priority deadline. So if you're interested in taking part in the Honors College, you'll want to apply before January 15th. You'll get priority consideration as well as opportunities for the Honors Scholarships as well. 
February 15th is the scholarship application deadline. So if you want to be considered for the $21 million in scholarship opportunities, you'll want to apply and fill out your scholarship application before February 15th. March 15th is the housing priority deadline. So if you are coming to live on campus, if you apply before March 15th, you'll actually get to select your housing situation right down to the room number. So you get exactly what kind of residence hall you'd like. April 15th is the honors application deadline. So if you don't apply before January 15th, that's okay. You can still be considered for the honors college as long as you apply before the 15th. You just wouldn't be considered for the honors scholarships at that point. May 1st is the housing application deadline. So that is the final deadline to submit the application to live in campus housing. If you apply between March 15th and May 1st, you are still guaranteed a spot in housing. It just depends on what is available at that point. And then May 1st is also the confirmation deadline. And that's a pretty standard confirmation deadline across most universities in the United States. And basically what that is, is it's your way of telling us at NKU, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm coming to NKU. Let's get classes started. Let's get my orientation scheduled. I'm ready to go. So those are just some important dates that are available here. And if you don't remember those, that's okay. Those are available in your books as well as online. We are gonna take a short break here and you can use the restroom before we get our tours on their way. But thank you for taking your time today to come learn a little bit about NKU. And we hope to see you here next fall.